Hey guys, welcome back uh, to Road to the Two Comic Club. Um, today's Sunday right now, um, so this is for Friday's video, obviously. And, um, you know, we had a bad day to get today again. And I'm really, really, really concerned. Uh, we're actually down about 100,000 off our high, so that's, that's a lot of money um, for anybody, uh, unless you're like Warren Buffett. But, um, so honestly, like, I did uh, buy another put option the other day, which kind of helped. And I'll post a screenshot of how the stocks did. Obviously horrible. Um, you can see our winners. Um, I'll post that up after the, after the the stocks widget finishes going. And then you can see our losers and um, our top performers today were those two put options that we had, I'm pretty sure. And so it was a good thing we got that other put option because it did help us a little bit, but overall we did drop quite a bit. Um, I'm reading articles and most of them are not good. I did find one that I'll talk about in a second, but um, that says we, we, could st we could still be in a bull market. Uh, so we're not officially in a bear market yet, so um, it's just, I'm not sure. I'm really considering uh, just trying to pick a small handful of calls that I really like, like Amazon, for example. I really like Amazon uh, for the long term and just doing 2020 calls and then going into mostly stocks, put options, selling covered calls, just playing defensive mode. Uh, it just, I don't really think we're gonna have many good days ahead of us this the rest of this month, especially with all this tariff stuff with China, like no one wants that, uh, apparently, obviously with based on how the market is performing. So I'm just gonna talk about some articles that I saw right now. I don't want this video to be too long, we're gonna keep it short. But the first one is the S&P 500 index is perilously close to falling under its closely watched 200 day moving average, so again, when stocks break below that, it's usually a sign of a bearish market. So I will put a link in the description for this. You can read that. But yeah, you do not want to break below the 200 day moving average. That's usually not good. And um, this one article said, stop saying the Dow is moving in and out of correction. That is not how the stock market moves work. <laughs> and I actually didn't read this one yet, but um, so, you know, I'm trying to just quickly glance at it. Um, so yeah, so, Definitely gonna read this article. I would definitely suggest you reading it. Um, I might be kind of late by the time you see it, but I'm doing my best to catch up when it fell back. Yeah, so, okay. So basically this article is saying that we're still in the correction. We haven't gotten out yet. So we're either gonna come back out of it in a good way or break down um, or falling sufficiently to be deemed in bear territory. So they're basically saying that's how market watch thinks about corrections. So that's their opinion. Um, but yeah, definitely worth a read. It is possible that we are still in a correction. Corrections can last actually several months, even years maybe, depends. So who knows what happened or what's happening. But this article says the Dow is threatening to log its ugliest loss in March in nearly 40 years. So that's also not good. Uh, a lot of stuff, not not good. But this one says despite, this article says despite the recent sell-off, um, the bull case is still intact. And this guy was talking about the S&P, he's showing a graph there, and you can see uh, we're in a long uptrend is what he was saying. We're having a really weird pattern here, but it could be a consolidation kind of thing. And he was showing the NASDAQ. Interest rates, a lot of political uh, Let's kind of fast forward here. He was looking for another 200 day moving average. But same thing with the NASDAQ, it's, going, it's doing a similar thing, also an upward channel, like he's showing like right here. Let's see if I can go back, come on. There it is. Okay, so same thing with the NASDAQ. It's been it's been kind of steadily going up until the turbulence is happening right here, but he says it doesn't mean we're in a bear market yet. Um, we're still right around the 200 moving average. We could bounce back up. Um, so he's just kind of saying we're not there yet, so just keep an eye on things, keep an eye on the earnings coming up. Technicals still look pretty good. Anyways, and then this article I just saw today, here's, there's nothing to, positive to say about the Dow. Um, here's why, and he's basically looking at, this article looks at all the 30 companies in the Dow, and most of them are not doing good. Um, nine companies set new year to date lows, Disney, Home Depot, you know, some of the ones that we do like a lot are not doing well. Uh, GE and Walmart are in bear market territory, territory down 32.6%, and 20, that's a typo, that should not be a dollar sign there, but 22.3% from the 2018 highs, that's pretty, that's a pretty bad drop. 
Um, only five stocks are not in correction territory. Somehow Apple's in there. Um, Intel, which we do have as well. Uh, Nike and Visa. So we might have to look into getting some of those just for diversification purposes. And the three best performers, Boeing is still up there. And then Intel, we do have Boeing and Intel, but so that kind of makes me feel better. But yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um, anyways, this guy's basically saying that there's a there's a risk of a full-blown bear market where you know people like to spread fud when it gets them clicks but at the same time you gotta take it a little bit seriously when when obviously the stocks are doing bad so um right that's kind of right where, where we're at right now i really don't know what i'm gonna do um i've been looking at my companies and i do like all of them for the long term i just don't know how much i can sacrifice because i do got to take money out for my taxes and yeah, so we're gonna have to see what happens this week. Um, just really crossing my fingers. Uh, if you want, I'm personally gonna just keep shopping on Amazon. I'm gonna keep supporting the companies I'm investing in and hopefully they'll have good earnings reports because that'll definitely shock them back into the uptrend and I'm hoping that's what happens. So we'll, I guess there's nothing we could do but just kind of wait and see. Just keep a really close eye on things. So we're gonna leave it at that. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, uh, not much else to say, but we got to just be really careful and um, yeah, just keep an eye on things and tr try to minimize the losses when we can. So hopefully, hopefully you guys had a good weekend and we will see you tomorrow.